Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. I've been experimenting some more with a MPPT controller and the water wheel. Um, I read a lot of your comments and one of them suggested that I use the controller to not disconnect the MPPT but to control the input. Or at least that's the way I understood it. So I thought I'd give it a try. When that gets to 75 volts, because the battery is coming up, uh, we're, what, 0.6 amps at 58 volts, and the battery's at 14.8. Okay, it just changed again. So, when that uh, controller decides that the battery's up the voltage it disconnects and the voltage goes up it should switch to the dump load which it just did okay switch back for a minute so it's not letting the uh, Input voltage go over 75. And I've got it set so that 30 volts is when it kicks back on. Okay, we got a battery over voltage. So let me turn a load on. Get that back down. Until I turned the camera on, it never did that switching back and forth. It worked flawlessly, so. Okay, the battery voltage should be dropping and this thing should start picking up. Okay, we're at 71. Seventy. Okay, here we go. She finally locked in. Or 35 volts, 2.7 amps going into the battery. One amp from the smart drive. So there was a little uh, back and forth there, so might have to play with the voltage adjustments a little bit to get it to simmer down. But I think this is going to work out. And I'm going to manually push my relay down to put it into the dump load. And you can watch the voltage 
that changes. Oh, it's already in the dump load. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it isn't. Hasn't released yet. Apparently the battery's not, uh, I don't know, it's coming back up in that. Well, I don't know what it's doing. It's not acting like it did before. Okay, so I guess we're at 48. No, it's not. Because I was pushing on the wrong part. That's why it didn't switch. Duh. Okay, wondered what was going on there. So I'm going to put it in dump load manually. Okay, so it goes to around 27 or 30 volts. So it doesn't change the RPM of the water bill by much. And the amperage is. Uh, Around four amps? No. Two amps. Each one of them is a half an amp. So I'll release that again. Switches back to this. If I turn my load off, should see the battery voltage come back up. Okay, well that's coming back up. I also got one of my solar controllers assembled and you can see the battery voltage is coming up and it's dropping off <laughs> sorry about waving the camera all over we're at 14.7 She's dropping off. The voltage is coming up. Should hit 75 shortly and it should switch. There she goes. So I guess it's going to cycle a few times until I get that voltage changed a little bit. I guess you would call that progress. So, uh, back over here to this I got this assembled and I got my heat sensor and I just sandwiched it in between the uh, heat sink and the circuit board and the fan just came on because it was up to 20 some amps and but you can't feel hardly any warmth of course I got the thing it was uh, 35 centigrade so that's not very warm I think it's what less than a hundred degrees maybe or around there I'd have to look again but it doesn't seem to create any heat at all so I'm pretty happy with that so far it's 
it's been up there for a day working without any problems. Yesterday, at one point, I seen 30 amps, which I don't think I've ever seen uh, before. I've seen like 26, but never 30, so I don't know what the difference is. Whether it's just uh, not having the shunts and the extra wiring involved with it, or what. But this analog meter seems to be accurate with the, my other meter, so I don't think that's to blame for seeing a higher reading. So I guess uh, I'll play a little bit more with it and see if I can get it a little more accurate as far as switching and staying switched the first time. But uh, just thought I'd update you on how I was making out. Shouldn't be too long. It should be able to take all of this out and replace it with these and then I'll have control of my battery voltage pin. I'm not using the good tie thingies anymore. So if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Now I'm back. I was going to start out with explaining what I <laughs> did different and, and I didn't do it. I was kind of excited to say it worked, I guess. So, um, of course, what I got is my three phase coming in, DC coming out, going through a couple of fuses, and then through the meter and out of the meter goes up to the common in the relay and out of the common of the relay goes to the input of the MPPT so no matter what there is input going into this it's never actually disconnected entirely the voltage sense is also hooked at this point. So anytime the input gets to 75 volts, it switches the relay to the dump load. And of course the 12 volts coming in here from the batteries is just to run the sensor. So that was the difference. Rather than have it completely disconnect this and go to the dump load and then when I come back on the voltage would go way high and uh, while well, the controller was deciding how to adjust itself so this way it avoids all that so thanks to a viewer that gave me an idea I think it's going to work I guess we'll find out when I get it installed and put some hours on it. So, now the video's over. See you next time.